guys, this episode we're going to be taking a look at a very underused, undervalued feature of Active Record called aggregations, or you might have heard it called composed of because that is the method that you are actually calling. So let's jump back real quick. In a previous lesson, we talked about custom attribute serializers. And this was where you could say, you know, when you serialize a column from text to JSON or YAML and uh, back, that feature allows you to take the data of a single attribute and then convert it to and from JSON or YAML or any object that you would want, um, which is awesome. They need to implement a dump and a load uh, method, which can then return these objects back. Um, but that doesn't work for multiple columns. So with aggregations, we wouldn't be, we can actually do more complex things. If we we're just using serializers, we wouldn't be able to create something like Basecamp's name of person gem that looks at the first and last name columns in the database and creates a name object that allows you to have full name, first, last, initials, familiar, abbreviated, sorted, mentionable, and possessives. So that wouldn't have worked if we were trying to use the custom attribute serializers. But active record aggregations allow us to say, hey, there's multiple columns we want to put into this object, uh, a Ruby object. And we want to take those things and give it to that object. And then um, we can take it back and assign it you know, to those columns as, as needed or whatever. So what's great about this is we can recreate name of person in pure active record really easily. So let's take a look. Uh, so we are going to run Rails generate model user. We'll have a first name and a last name column. We will Rails DB migrate to create that in our database. And then we can start working on our composed of here. So here we can say composed of a name and this is gonna create an attribute for name and allow you to assign it and access it. But we need to give it a mapping. And the mapping is a hash of the attributes that you want uh, from your user and then what the attributes are called in your value object, which in our case would be a class like name where we'd have an initialize and you would take the first and last names 